person or who the ultimate priest is, what Jesus has accomplished, and he has accomplished righteousness and peace for all. What's so incredible about these words is they don't just describe who Jesus is, but also who or what Jesus has accomplished. And Jesus has accomplished righteousness and peace for all. The city over which he reigns is a place of righteousness and a place of peace. And what a freedom it is when we choose to become citizens of that city, the city of Melchizedek, the city of Salem, the city of Jesus. There's no naturalization process that has to occur or class that has to be passed. The gates are open for all to enter. The tolls are lifted for all to pass through, and all we have to do is pray. Mm -hmm. Would you please pray with me? Lord, I thank you for this time that you've given us this evening to come together and to seek after you and to learn about your word through not only the Old Testament, God, but through the New Testament and what you're saying through the text, God. And I pray for those in here, God, who have not entered into your city and have not entered into your righteousness, into your gates of peace, God. And for those of us in here who are seeking God, I ask that you begin to convict us, God, and give us a, give us a hunger to chase after you and what you have accomplished through the abolition of your altar, Jesus. And I pray for some of us in here, God, myself, who have become so blinded out of our own personal pursuit and our own attempts to be priests for others, God, that we lose sight that you are the ultimate priest and that we should be bringing people to you as our priest, God. I ask that you forgive us, God, that you, you instill in us a new desire and a new drive to not save people, God, but to see people saved and to bring people to you, to chase after people no matter how long the process is, no matter how many years it may take, no matter how many years it will be down the road, God, but that we continue to pray every day for those people and not only just pray for opportunities to reach out to them, God, but to see those opportunities and to be aware of those opportunities. And so I pray that you give us the courage and the strength to act in those opportunities, God and to help us to pursue after you, pulling as many people as we can to you, God. It's your, it's your son's name we pray, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.